Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We are here today to talk about Arm Fight 50 and in particular the match between Oleg Zok and Vitaly Uh Of course, Oleg Zok from the Ukraine, probably the best pound for pound arm wrestler on the planet, particularly on the left arm. And Vitaly Lalaitan, the very tall athlete with an, the enormous top row, weighing in at about 110 to 115 kilos. This is an open weight battle, and it will be, of course, on the left hand. Now, very interesting matchup because both of these guys are pure top rollers. Both of these guys love to take the hand and wrist, and they do it in very different fashions. Oleg Zok, just with the world's best pronation and an enormous hand and thumb, um, he takes takes the wrist of his opponents very much in a rotation sense. Vitaly Lalaitan, on the other hand, he is a very tall and long-armed athlete and likes to take his his opponent's hand and wrist with speed, side pressure, and a rigid top of the wrist. Now, the matchup for this is going to be interesting. Obviously, Vitaly is a lot taller than Oleg Zok. Uh, so Vitaly Lalaitan's arm angle is going to be lower than he would usually like it. Vitaly Lalaitan uh, will be towering over, over Oleg Zok, who is only under 80 kilos. Uh, so... It's going to be an interesting matchup. I do believe this is a bit of a mismatch. I actually believe that Oleg Zok will dominate this because of the low angle that Vitaly Lalaitan is going to have to have his hand and because of his reliance on it being a top roll match, I believe that Oleg Zok will comfortably take the hand and risk control. So over six rounds, will will it get any easier for Vitaly? Ugh, I wish I could say I, I believe it did, but I do believe that Oleg Zok will have a longer endurance and more strength in the hand, and the hand and wrist of Vitaly Lalaitan will struggle to to even hang with Oleg Zox over six rounds. And as each round progresses from there, I believe Oleg Zok will get easier. Obviously, Oleg Zok is an incredibly ambitious arm wrestler. He could probably very soon, um, when I say very soon, probably over the next three to five years, if he puts on some more size, become the number one overall left arm arm wrestler on the planet. But at this stage, he's still under 80 kilos, so the super heavyweights do give him a problem. Vitaly Lalaitan has has dispatched of many of the super heavyweights, but he has had trouble with Levan Sanganisvili, and of course, unable to beat the likes of Pushkar or Soplenkov. Oleg Zok has struggled with the same people, but I believe in the matchup of the styles this time, Oleg Zok will get a dominant victory and probably a 6-0 victory in this match. I do believe Oleg Zok will only lose a round if he is playing around, if he is trying to showboat to the crowd and just hold the hand and wrist, he may become fatigued and lose access to everything he had. And the side pressure from Vitaly Lalaitan, if he is able to keep a flat-wristed position, will be more than Oleg Zok's. So, ladies and gentlemen, 6-0 Oleg Zok is my prediction for that one in Arm 550. And thanks to you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.